All right, we're recording. Okay, great, thank you. I'd like to call the meeting of the Public Works Board meeting June 8th, 2020 to order. The time is 7.01. Can we all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Thank you, Hugo. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States of America, America to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible liberty, and justice and for all. For all. Did anybody come in from the public yet? No public oh. comment? No public. No public? Can I have a motion to approve the minutes from the April meeting? Well, Stella, I'd like to approve them. Thank you. Bill Stowe, made the first mo okay. motion. Can I have a second? Seconded. Okay, seconded by Mr. Lombardi. Okay. Number five on the agenda is discussion on parks and school. Tony, do you have anything to report? Uh, parks and schools. Uh, we're doing uh, normal activities for this time of year in the parks. We do have a, uh, a break in the report just this weekend. Uh, they broke into the uh, one of the old uh, stone buildings there where we use for storage. Uh, we don't see anything as uh, missing. It was the building that shared between, I guess, uh, the Public Works and the Pumpkin Festival. Um, they did ransack and I sent an email to the PD asking if they could possibly do uh, more patrols of the park as we do have concerns about our equipment. You know, should they get into that garage where we store our tractor and everything, if if they uh, vandalize and or steal it, that just cripples our ability to uh, maintain the grounds there. So just think the board would might might want to note that. So nothing was stolen, just vandalized. Yeah, from what we can see, I mean, they made a pretty good mess in there and vandalized the door. But uh, you know, it, it is of concern to me that if they can do that. You know, I would hate to see if they got into the other building and really went to work on uh, our equipment and stuff. It is valued approximately $70,000 worth of equipment we have there. So, you know, if they were to succeed in that garage and they dam damaged our equipment or took it, that cripples our ability to maintain the, the park there. So it might be one of a little food for thought. So I did uh, stress that to the PD today, and they did get right on it. They had the detectives out there, which uh, I appreciate very much. But you know, some further patrolling of the park would probably be a good idea. We have no, there, go ahead, Mr. We have no cameras in that area. Uh, I'm sorry. Did we have no cameras in that area. We do have cameras in the park, and they are uh, right to the bridge, the um, Seymour PD. So, you know, they were supposed to uh, check the cameras. I don't know exactly where that went, but yes, there are cameras in the park. Bye. Okay. Is there a way we can change the door in that park, or because it's a historical park, we have to go with the um, the look, if you will? Door on the park. Where the shed, I guess, where the equipment is kept. Because I, I'm thinking when you know when you walk it, when you go into the park where the cannons are. There's that brick building, and then there's that green yeah. door there, right? Yeah. Is that a wooden door? Is that a steel door? Is that something we can change where our, we, we keep our stuff? Can we put a secure door on there? We'd have to talk to Mr. Pack to bring it to the park sport uh, to get their input. I know that they broke in from the back door. So, you know, we, we could uh, 
and I'm sure we did that today to get it better for uh, security purposes. But we could certainly uh, look into that. Again, that would probably have to be addressed through the parks board. <clears throat> Okay. And that, uh, other than that, you know, we're just maintaining our grounds maintenance of the parks and the schools. And uh, for that matter, uh, the WPCA now. So. How is, so have we, have we started maintaining the uh, pump stations? Yeah. You know, we Molly. have the 10 of them. We've uh, maintained them and, you know, we're taking them on. So far, so good. I want to say we probably went through them at least twice. And how's that going? It's uh, added work for us, but, you know, we're, we're holding our own. Have we seen anybody else over there um, maintaining the properly property for the pump stations? No. No, nor we haven't seen anybody at the sewage plant either. Okay. Any questions on park schools, the vandalism at French Park, or the WPCA? I'm good. <clears throat> yeah, I missed a few meetings. I was wondering how uh, this all came about where Tony has to take care of all the WPCA now. So one, one moment. Um, I guess that was, uh, at, you know, there was concerns about the WPCA and vendors coming in and uh, we, felt that if the vendors are coming in, why wouldn't it go through the department first? So if the town's paying money for vendors, well, we felt strongly that, that you know, the department should be doing it before any outside vendors were doing it. So basically we we're doing it with the understanding that it was going to save the town money. Okay, I got it now. Mm -hmm. I thought Definitely. it was Sorry, it's Anne Marie. So, from an from an economic uh, regionalization, we're starting to maintain the public works vehicles because they are owned by the town. They're registered and they're insured in the town. And uh, vehicles. yes, what did I say? Public works. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Party. And per also per the Veolia contract, which I reread re today. Um, we are responsible for maintaining the trucks and if we don't maintain the trucks and they need to be going to a state contractor to be maintained as well a state approved contractor to be maintained. So it's best that we keep it in house and we, and we know what's going on and the money we spent. We know we're not it, It's getting done if we need a new truck because that truck is 1994 no, 1990, a 1990. I'm watching Chris Edwards shake his head, yes or no? Yeah, it's 1990. It's, it's a 1990. And Bill, the tires on the truck were 20 years old? 26. 26 years old. So the truck was not maintained to the level that it should have been maintained to. And we'll leave it at that. Yeah, right. This is Bill Stowe. Just saying thank you for filling me in on that. I thought making sure it wasn't something that was dumped on them, you know? Okay, yep. Yeah, no, it was it was discussed with uh, Tony as well and the board as well before we undertook it. Okay, that's good. Um, okay. Anything on transfers? Tony, any transfers? We should have one coming up. It actually should have been this month, but I have not heard from Doug. Uh, we're going to need a transfer for our snow account. Uh, let's see, snow materials. 
we were in the red in that account and we're going to offset that with the snow overtime. So, and then there's another account in the red and that's for retirement highways. I really don't know what that is, but that's definitely a question for the finance department. So I will be addressing that with Doug. Other than that, how much, how much in the red or how much is the transfer going to be? For snow? You're asking about the snow account? Yep. Did, did everybody get the packet that was mailed today? They have the financial report? Yes, I have it. I have it. Pat, did you get it? I know Tony sent it to everybody's email. Not caught up on mail. Okay. So the snow plowing, Tony, yeah, it looks much. like. It's, yeah. It's, um, let's see. Is it the snow plowing one, Tony? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, probably. What is it? Uh, Thirty, almost thirty thousand dollars. Am I looking at the right account here? Hold on. I look at things without lights. I'm looking at the snow overtime. Wait a minute. The freaking, they're so small that I can hardly read it. All right. So the overtime plowing. Eighteen thousand. We have a balance of twenty nine thousand in there, right? So it's eighteen thousand. Yeah. Yeah, it's eighteen thousand. Yeah. So we're going to take it from there. Thank you, Frank sure Avenelli. Thank you, Frank. You're welcome. Eighteen thousand, and that was from the uh, the amount of salt we bought all winter. So we have to transfer from our overtime snow overtime. To offset that eighteen thousand, which, if you look at the snow overtime account, there's plenty of money that will offset it. Right. Okay. Now we bought that salt because we had an open PO. I rem I remember a conversation about that, but can you just remind everybody about that? Yeah. Book? What happened was, you know, we try to stay on top of the weather patterns and the weather forecasters. And they were threatening for some inclement weather, more ice to come. And, you know, in, in uh, us being prepared, I wanted to order the salt and make sure our shed was uh, full of capacity. So in doing so, we have a full set of salt, but we burned to the budget. So, you know, we don't, uh, I'd rather sit here and explain why we bought the salt then explain why we didn't buy this off. <laughs> so that's pretty Point. much, and we did have a winter with icing. We didn't get a lot of snow, but we got a lot of ice this winter. And sometimes yeah. when you uh, combat for an ice storm, it's harder to deal with an ice storm than it is a regular snowstorm. And you're going to use more salt as a result. Better to err on the side of caution. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Okay, financial update. Tony, thank you for supplying us with all the uh, reports. Uh, we appreciate that immensely. Only if we can get the writing a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what uh, this would happen with this one, but being that everybody's working from home and such, because we usually do have them bigger. Yes, no, but, I know uh, we do. Mine's sideways, so I gotta kinda turn my head here. So, but the other than that, you know, we have uh, actually money will be going back this year, which is a good thing. So, yeah, no, that's a good thing. We're kind of got surpluses going on here. Any comments? On financial update discussion. On to number eight, vehicle update. Well, we got finally got our two trucks <laughs> delivered, and uh, the 
two leads, you know, they're uh, they're looking pretty sharp in them trucks doing the work, the town's work. But uh, they are in, in uh, our possession. We're very happy with them. And uh, we've reassigned vehicles to a couple of our staff guys that were in need, one being the mechanic that needed a vehicle where he could uh, respond to road calls and such. And then the other one was uh, now in the parks where one of our, our employees is uh, working on the athletic fields. But uh, nonetheless, you know, it, it really professionalizes the operation altogether. Can't wait to see them. I'm sorry, did someone say something? Yeah, yeah that was good. Bill's stuff. I just said oh, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> they're beautiful trucks. They really are. Well, hopefully, knock on wood, we'll be able to meet come August, hopefully. Is that it on vehicle update, Tony? That's all that I can think of. Okay. Oh, actually, well, uh, you know what? I'd like to bring it up. I mean, it's really not our vehicles, but I just want to bring it to the board's attention. And uh, I have concerns about it, and I would just like it to be known now that there's been discussion uh, with the PD in the past about taking on the repairs of the uh, police car. And I just want to make it known that our garage is not set up where we can take on an operation to repair police cars. Uh, we can, however, provide assistance you know, once in a while you need a brake job done or an oil job. We like to accommodate everybody, but just taking care of our operation in and of itself is a challenge to us where we're able to succeed with our operation with the space we have, so on and so forth. So, you know, I just want that to be known to the board that I don't know if there's, any, you know, they're, they're talking about us taking over the repairs to the police fleet that is something we cannot do we're not set up for it we don't have the space for it we do not have the resources for it uh, um, you know i want to just put that in it and if we need to have further discussion offline or further meetings i'd be happy to do that chris would you like to add to that yeah um other than the spaces, uh, you know, we don't have the equipment. So, um, up higher, higher balance. We have nothing to service air conditioners, and I'd be sure to lift. Um, I have one lift that we use for our trucks. Um, we're just not set up to do that fleet. And being a me one mechanic, it's hard to do. You know, I'm doing the public works fleet, the WCPA. Uh, yeah, right. Um, which is only a couple of trucks um, to add on another 25, 30 cars, it would be physically impossible. Again, we, we like to provide assistance to everyone. You know, and, so, and many times, Tim Connors has done it, or people from other departments have asked if we can provide assistance and make repairs. And we're more than happy to do that. But you got to understand to just take on an operation that, you know, it kind of dictates our time to, to carry it out. We cannot do that. We can't operate under that the way, that way. And when we take on these in-kind services, we'll call them, from other departments, they're pretty much done around our scheduling. So that, that's something else that we should all understand there. Who, who takes care of the uh, police cars now? The regular gas station up at uh, Route 67? Uh, do yeah, I don't really, I don't know how they're doing it right now. I mean, I do want to say that they have a vendor outside, private vendor in on it. I think but, they do. Uh, you know, there has been talk about it that uh, the, 
public works would take it over and I just don't see it as feasible the again our facility is not big enough so that well, they got a lot of we don't have the equipment and they have a lot of vehicles so, I think uh, even our okay. trucks you know when our trucks our trucks go out for uh, the, the more uh, problematic repairs that we can't handle you know we're pretty much set up for preventative maintenance oil changes brakes things of that nature when it's more in a detailed repair the truck has to go out and that's what we're doing with dpw so you know again we have further discussion at another meeting we need to but i just wanted to make it clear to the board and just get them up to date and advised of what what's been talked about well i certainly wouldn't support it it's not a new idea this came up several several years ago when the state police facility on derby avenue <clears throat> was going to be given to the town unfortunately it never materialized but at that time everyone spoke up and said no it's not really such a good idea for all the reasons that all of you have given here tonight, you know, the economics of it, labor, right. right equipment, so on and so forth. So I would tell you now that I certainly won't support it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that idea either. I don't think any of us are. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound right. No, I wouldn't support that either. Okay. Okay. Any question? Any other questions on vehicle update? All the trucks are running good. Everything's good. Everything. Everything's good. Okay. Good. We do have a, a little minor thing that happened uh, last week, or or we had an injury claim filed, and I'm not happy about that because you know we pretty much gone three years without any injury claims and we're proud of it but something happened with one of our employees and there was a uh, minor damages to the truck of which we're fixing as we speak but uh okay okay no other uh questions transfer station update Transfer station update. Yes, we look into the uh, debris from the recycling can. You know, remember how everybody had concerns about it blowing into the water, yep. so on and so forth. Yep. Uh, we we uh, it's probably not a safe practice to try to tarp that trailer because it's pretty up there. You know, if we get guys walking on top of that trailer and they fall off, that's injury waiting to happen. What we did do is Jordan, Frank, and myself went up there, and we want to look at finishing the wall where we kind of can enclose the trailer, where when they dumped into the trailer recycling, it, it, the wall that we want to finish is like a stop for the, the materials before they can get into the water or you know all over the road and all over the grounds so we're looking at that we got a price quote uh we're in the process now trying to get that approved uh, we're hopeful that it will get approved and we can proceed to finish that and we also put some uh materials on the fence that border the wall the water over there the um what do you call it the brook tree <laughs> If you will so we put something on the fence that will also protect from any recycling or any debris that you know will stop it from going into the stream and in the water over there well i'm glad to see that you're looking at some alternatives again my intent is not to create work any additional work for anyone but <coughs> 
we can't have that stuff just laying on the ground there. Number one, you know, you got problems with uh, rodent infestation. You got stuff blowing over to, you know, into the, where the brook is and just uh, not a good situation. So have my hats off to you for looking at some uh, other alternatives. We, we have talked about that wall for some time. So we definitely want to make that happen because that will help us with the whole deal with the, with the materials on the ground. And they should be, you know, we try to stay on top of that as best we can to put, get the materials inside the trailer. So we talked to uh, Oak Ridge where they should be getting us trailers more rapidly because when the trailer's filled and they're dumping the trucks in it, you know, the materials are going overboard. So if they, pop out the trailers more, we kind of can alleviate that problem of the materials winding up on the farm. So, but that's a challenge in of itself to get an additional trailer over there. Mm -hmm. But we do work on it. And, uh, you know, again, the wall, I, I, we definitely want to do the wall, finish it. We've talked about it for some time. We think that'll help us. And what it will also do is isolate the materials where when we do have to come clean them, the materials are more contained in one area. They're kind of out of the view of the public, which is big. So let's, we'll hope, hopefully we'll have more to report on that at next month's meeting. Awesome. Thank you. So nothing else on transfer station discussion on bulk pickup. Uh, bulk pickup, we did do it today. You know, obviously, friends with the COVID 19, uh, we didn't do it April where there was major concerns with it, health reasons and our guides and staff and stuff. But what we did for May is we did about 50 households and we used every precaution that we possibly could. We made it a mandatory, mandatory practice for our guys to wear the mask and gloves. And we also had a guy go out in advance of uh, the team to spray all the materials that were left at the curb with disinfectant. So we definitely took some precautions. Uh, knock wood, we got through it safely. Uh, everybody's still healthy. And uh, we'll carry on the next month. So. We did, uh, you know, I'm pretty proud of my guys. We take the precautions. Uh, we work smarter, not harder. And we, we, we get through it. Awesome. Okay. Any discussion on bulk pickup? Okay. Um, work update, director's report. Okay. 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 <clears throat> we started our roadside mowing for the month of May, and our roadside mowing is just, you know, we're taking care of all the town right aways and intersecting bus town. We did 50 households of bulk trash. Uh, let's see, 10.2 tons of trash was recovered. Our trash run, picking up all the town trash cans and our paper picking, we removed 2.1 tons of trash and debris. Uh, tree trimming removal, we removed some old trees that we can handle. We uh, probably grind three tons of brush as a result. Let's see. Sidearm mowing, we have our sidearm mower out, tackling overgrowth protruding into the roadways. That is started in May. We only did 32 man hours for it, but it is underway. Our street sweeping efforts, we swept uh, 74 and a half miles, lane miles of road. I believe May will confirm 
our neighborhood sweeping has we have completed our neighborhood sweeping meaning all town roads have been swept so what we'll do now is we will focus more into downtown our um, business area downtown in the, the business area in the main roads we'll focus on for our sweeping efforts at this point forward Auto repairs. We repaired 116 bottles with eight tons of asphalt. Banners, COVID 19 banners. Uh, we installed 94. And then uh, WPCA maintenance, grounds maintenance was 40 man hours. Board of Ed grounds maintenance was 128 man hours combined. And parks ground maintenance was 448 man hours combined. And then we also had a professional vendor at the transfer station for the month of May. Did our wood grinding in approximate 1,000 yards of brush was grinded for the month of May. And that pretty much covers our this month's direct. Questions? I, no, I did see that the town website did list the HHW event that will be held up in held up in Waterbury at Crosby. Yeah. Any? That is, is that in July? I, yes. I got it. That's July, right? Yes. Any other business? Yeah. Anything else under work updates and director's reports? Uh, a question, Anne Marie. Go ahead. <clears throat> well, what's going on in regards to repairing the uh, wooden fence on West Street that's damaged? We uh, we got our quotes. That was in. We were in process to get the uh, insurance claim filed for that. Uh, we decided that we are going to get the fuel that came out of our budget. We're, uh, we ordered the parts, we're going to fix it, and we're going to get reimbursed should the check come in from the insurance company. So that's where we're at. We're just waiting on material. Okay, good, because uh, it's kind of a kind of a bad area to be leaving something like that uh oh as long as it has and Listen, I we fixed that's the that's insurance the first time the other we that area and, uh, um yeah I said well we're on top of it we're just waiting on parts to come in and we'll get right on it Are we good? Um, Anybody else got questions? Under other business, I need to correct. It wasn't the April meeting. It was May's meeting, as Molly uh, pointed out to me in the chat. I needed the approval for May, not April meeting. Sorry. And we did get the town's approval to do a Facebook page, just like the town has a Facebook page. Um, Public Works can have their own Facebook page, which I think would be great. Um, we could post things that we're doing. People can go there instead of the Seymour's Mom page or the, the yeah, the Seymour Moms and Dads page. So I don't know who would like to take that and set that up. If Molly wants to do that. Yeah, okay. Molly's confirming she'll do that. Just make sure we use the SEALs page. Um, please make Tony to, Tony DePrimo the administrator on that page as well. And if Tony wants to give it to Frank as well as Jordan, that, that will be up to him to make it admin so they, they can add to it when need be. And update it, guys, got a good idea? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Jordan's very good with that. Oh. 
Jordan even here? Aren't you just- I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, that will help a lot. All right, Frank. Yeah. I think that will help a lot, Tony, with the, you, with the trash receptacles as well. This way, you know, if Jordan's in the office and if you know, then Jordan can get right on that page and update it right then and there so that we're not getting, you know, the Seymour Mom page is not blasting all of us on it. I'm sorry, I, I my phone's in and out. It's okay, we just said Jordan will update with the with the issues with Oak Ridge Brothers as well. Uh, is there any other Hello. business? Mr. Facebook. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any public comment? Moving to public comment. Does anybody have anything for public comment? Molly, did anything come in? Did anybody send any questions? See, Mr. Finley has joined us as well. All right. With no further uh, just, questions. Just here in spirit, just listening to the meeting. Sorry. Okay. Thanks, Finley. So, um, okay. Any, do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. First by Patrick, second by Mr. Demko. All in favor? Aye. 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 So passed. Everybody Be safe. Be safe. Stay healthy. We'll see each other in July. Molly, make sure the same the same people that are on this call, make sure they get the same um, invite to the July meeting. Mm -hmm. And Tony, if you want to send the package to Molly, Molly can actually distribute it to people as well. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Stay safe. Have a good night. Good night, everyone.